Money is just energy. So if you're experiencing less money than you know you deserve, there may be a glitch in your operating system. Have you ever worked hard to achieve success only to feel the rug pulled out from underneath you? You may be suffering from a condition called under earning. Think of it as an allergy to money and an allergy to the financial freedom that money affords. This is Dr. Tara Maxwell. In today's video, I reveal the five simple steps to stop sabotaging your money flow so you can achieve your goals. If you're new to my channel, welcome. You know the deal, like and subscribe so we can hack the YouTube algorithms and share this message across the planet. When we block our money flow, we're kind of like a garden hose. There's an infinite supply of abundance, yet nothing is coming through. We're experiencing scarcity, lack, and not enough. It reminds me of the other day, I was trying to rinse my car. I live in the jungle in Costa Rica. There was all this caked mud on my Land Rover. And I turned on the garden hose, I turned on the faucet, and no water was coming through. It was just barely a trickle. And it was because the garden hose was crimped. And often we're like that garden hose. There's all this abundance that's here for us, and yet we're blocking it. So not long ago, I experienced a glitch in my money flow. I teach what I am learning. And after my separation of 22 years of marriage, I was a mess. It required me to do the inner work and to really put my business on, it was pretty much running on fumes. I was only working with a few clients. There was a glitch in the money. And I teach this, I teach how we manifest affluence and how we create in the quantum. And so it required me to apply these very same steps that I am sharing with you. And so the first step is observe because through awareness, one by one, we eliminate the intergenerational patterns, the emotional blocks, the childhood imprints that have contributed to the distorted set of beliefs that are creating this current reality. Because if you're an under earner at the root of all of this, it's unworthiness, it's feeling not enough, and we've got to shift it. As just as I've shared my story, even for the most successful high achievers, they still struggle with this unconscious pattern. So if you want to be a powerful creator of your reality, You've got to shift this because life is a video game and they're either players or they're NPCs. I have a teenage son. He loves to play video games and NPCs are the non-player characters and they're literally operated by the AI in the machine. And so if you either want to be sovereign and a player, being able to orchestrate and design, create your own reality, or you're a pawn literally an NPC being ruled by the matrix. Um, and have we even seen this rise of artificial intelligence? So we get to choose. So this reality that you're currently experiencing, it's a result of the beliefs, the patterns, the habits, thoughts, feelings that are running the operating system. So if you want to shift your reality, we've got to start there. And so in my life, as I was looking at observing the video game of my life, I had to look at the saboteur. The saboteur comes up for under earners and we get to choose using the law of attraction to manifest our desires. We observe because if you're like an under earner, it's like we're trying to fly a, a Learjet to Tahiti and on the way, some AI takes over, hijacks a plane, it takes us to some podunk town in the desert in the USA. And the way that through observation, we're able to illuminate the shadows. Where is the saboteur acting out? Because that allows us to have the power to heal. So that's the first step to observe. The second is to choose. Because our thoughts create a reality. 
And the question is, what is your heart leaning toward? What are you currently creating right now? Is it leaning towards fear or love? Are you choosing scarcity or lack? And before you can choose, we've got to have clarity about the current situation that you have created for yourself. Is it a heaven or hell? Because without clarity, creating a life of abundance is just a wish. So let's start with radical honesty about your current reality. Yes, not making enough money and more importantly, not living up to your fullest potential. It causes pain. This is the proverbial hell. But first, write down all the benefits that you get from staying in your current situation. What are the benefits? I mean, what is the payoff? You're getting some reward for your current situation or you wouldn't be stuck here. Um, what we create, what we love at, on some unconscious level, when we try something and fail out at it, when we procrastinate and procrastinate because we're afraid to launch, there's a payoff. Sometimes we choose, and I know this has been my case, of not earning money because we want uh, maybe someone we love to support us because there's still that connection. I worked with a client whose biggest fear was playing big and growing to seven figures because she was afraid if she really stepped into her fullest potential that her husband, she'd leave her husband behind. And so the, the challenge is not facing that straw man. If you're experiencing financial chaos, it may be a straw man to not deal with deeper trauma or really sitting with feeling alone. So write down all the benefits you're currently getting from your situation. Write down all the pain it's also causing you. Where will you be five to 10 years from now if you keep doing what you're currently doing? We cannot just manifest our dream life unless we're willing to examine and embrace our current reality. And next, we need to dream about our version of heaven and become aware of the unconscious blocks that are keeping us from realizing that vision. So what is the pleasure and pain of your version of heaven that your future vision for your life. Write down what you want to create in five to 10 years. And, and what are all the benefits and pleasure you'll receive by stepping into this vision? On the other hand, what are the perceived pains that you must walk through and overcome in order for you to create this vision for your life? Now let's get radically honest. Is the pain of staying in the current situation greater than the payoff and comfort of staying stuck? Is the pleasure and reward of creating your vision greater than the challenges and potential losses that you might experience if you commit to this path? Remember, we create our reality. For example, the client who feared losing her husband, she shifted that belief as we worked together and they grew closer. And when all this change was happening around the globe, she was able to allow him to retire his job and they were able to move to their dream location during a time when he was in the medical profession, when there was a lot of uncertainty and a lot of nurses and doctors lost their jobs or decided to leave and they had freedom. So knowing what it takes to succeed, are you committed to stepping into this vision? Are you willing to draw a line in the sand and step into this future reality? Are you saying yes to being that version of yourself who is living your vision? You get to choose today. And if yes, it moves us to the third step. The first step is to observe. The second step is to choose from our heart. And the third step is surrender. We have to surrender to a higher intelligence because look, the solution to all their problems is spiritual. If we stay, as Joe Dispenza says, operating with the same thoughts, habits, behaviors, and actions, where do you think we will be a year from now, five years from now? The lie is that often we think we have to figure this out ourselves. Yet every great idea came from the quantum realm. There's a more potent force, a divine intelligence than you and me that governs the entire universe. And if we want to be more powerful and effective in our lives, it behooves us to surrender our self-will governed by ego and limitation, scarcity, and lack, these programs that are running our operating system and align with the flow of the universe. We can only do this when we surrender. 
So if you're struggling with under earning, ask, please ask divine intelligence. Please show me the resources, the mentors, the next steps. Please show me my false perceptions that keep me from my truth. Because when we shift our perspective and come into our hearts, we choose love, we align with our truth. Because often what I see with the under earners that I work with, they're not seeing all the abundance and blessings that are surrounding them. Their, their minds are focused because of these programs on the scarcity, on lack, on fear. And therefore, in this video game of life, they end up creating more of that situation. And this brings us to step four, connection. We need to seek community, mentorship, support. When we're trying to solve this alone, we get imprisoned in our own echo chamber. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And an echo chamber describes a situation or environment in which people are exposed only to the information, ideas, or opinions and their own existing beliefs, values, or perspectives. And so it's a closed space, this loop where individuals only receive a reinforcement of their own ideas and it keeps them in that loop. And so the path to freedom is to exit the echo chamber. We're vibrational beings. I recently spent time with a friend and through his presence, he helped me remember aspects of my divine self when I had been feeling stuck in this loop of unforgiveness. So to accelerate our freedom, it's wise to surround ourselves with others who understand you, accept you, but also see you as a person you're evolving into. Additionally, it's important to find an accountability partner or a mentor so that you can take that action or seek out energy healers, plant medicine. There's so many modalities that are here that can help you transcend the current situation. So never let money be a reason to stay in your current loop. There's so many 12 step programs, even under Earners Anonymous, where there's a community of others that can support you. The final step in this five step method to stop sabotaging your money flow is commit. Today, you get to draw the line in the sand and decide and commit to being the version of yourself who is sharing your gifts and talents with the world and in turn receiving abundance for these gifts because of the value that you're bringing to the world and ultimately because of who you are being. One way that we commit is through taking inspired focused action. If you took one action every day towards your vision, where would you be 365 days from now? What are you doing each day to improve your financial situation? and to best draw upon your gifts and talents to serve the world. We often get hampered by focusing on immediate results. The thing is, we're not in a race. This is about soul evolution. If you are following this five-step framework, if you focus on service and you're asking for divine guidance on what is the next step, you, you can let go of attachment to the outcome. Because each time you take a step in the direction of your vision, you are living in integrity with your vision. So relax and trust that a higher power will guide you. I love this topic because you can absolutely shift the video game and the algorithms when you follow these simple steps. Because when you apply these principles, you are shifting your frequency, going from contraction and scarcity to expansion and abundance. So just for review, these are the five simple steps to stop sabotaging your money flow. One, to observe. Two, you get to choose. Three, surrender to a higher intelligence. Four, outreach to get support. And five, commit through taking inspired action because if our divine inheritance is abundance as children of a loving creator not living a life of true affluence however we self-define what that means to us each uniquely we're like the prodigal son in the parable of the prodigal son choosing to squander our inheritance 
and instead seeking to live in the swine pen because we don't feel worthy because of our humanness. When we stay in financial struggle, scarcity and lack, we are unconsciously defying the divine. We're resisting and rebelling against our divine inheritance. That's what under earning is. Please understand this, the key is not to slip into self-condemnation if you're not liking the results you're getting in your life. We're human. We all fall short at times. We don't need to punish ourselves because self-punishment, shame, and guilt only perpetuates that cycle of slavery. The ego wants to keep us enthralled in this loop. I promise you, under-earning is a gift. It's a key to your superpower if you get curious and apply these steps in the video game. And if you want to dive deeper on this topic on how to materialize a life of freedom through quantum creation, there's a free training. You can get access to it. It's called the Freedom Accelerator in the comments below. I'm creating content every week for you. I love to hear from you. Comment below any questions or more topics you want me to cover. And you know the deal. Like and subscribe to join our community and to spread this message. And until next time, remember, we are here to evolve and be free. Thank <laughs> you.